This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description. JVOS is a new way of thinking of jujitsu. It's a conceptually based approach to teaching jujitsu. It's a new way of simplifying a very complex art. If you, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link and get your copy of JVOS today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we will be discussing a central path presentation that I call attack strategies. So let's get started with this presentation. So the central path is my primary attack option, primary attack strategy. The blue line signifies motion over time. What is the central path? It's a map, it's a route, it's a direction to follow. It's a starting point from any position. It's your default behavior. It is predictable behavior. It has a high success rate and we do what works best first. Secondary strategy. So secondary strategies are generated reactions from the central path, low hanging fruit positionally, or the central path is being defended. Now the yellow signifies low energy expenditure and the orange will signify medium energy expenditure. So anytime somebody is defending the central path, they're usually defending and, and you're having to work a little bit harder. So that's a little bit more difficult. Low hanging fruit is very easy to, to do. And of course, a generated reaction is very easy to do as well. What are secondary options? They're generated reactions. They're techniques that flow from the central path. They're options that work hand in hand with the central path and they are used very frequently. Supplemental strategies. Supplemental strategies are generated reactions from the secondary attack, or they can be generated reactions directly from the central path. What are supplemental options? They are used sparingly and creatively, unless they are presented as low hanging fruit. They are generated reactions from the secondary attack options. They're used to stir the pot of attacks and they are lower percentage attacks. So my mindset when I am training is to generally attack the primary attack strategy first, unless low hanging fruit is presented to me. Now the, gen the, the, the central path, the, the primary attack strategy, of course, will generate particular types of behavior. And when those behaviors are manifested or, or created, I already have secondary and supplemental options to counter these generated behaviors. When you approach jujitsu in this fashion, you are no longer acting, acting in a reactive way. You are acting in a more predictive way for, to where now things are coming to you more than you are forcing through, through brute strength and, 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 and just physical overwhelming and manipulation. By attacking in this way, it is more efficient and it, it allows things to flow with a much more smooth, uh, interaction. So again, if you like my content, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions about this video, leave them down below in the comments section. Again, if you are interested in what I am doing, the click for JVOS is on, is in the description. I will talk to you guys real soon.